Hi, I am Dr. Nanda Rajneesh. I practice as oncosurgeon and laparoscopic surgeon in Apollo Spectra and Sakra group of hospitals. It is uh, well known that there is a huge correlation between the kind of diet you eat and the colorectal cancer and any colorectal disease for that matter. So what is the diet that has got to do with the colon and the rectum? So I'll just describe to give you an example. Let us say you eat a lot of gassy food that it bloats your intestine and the intestinal motility is reduced and even large intestinal motility is reduced because there's a lot of gas formed, it bloats. And the circulation to the intestines also is reduced because it's dilated and it gets thinned wall and then the circulation is reduced and forward motility is also reduced. So individual get constipated. In simple words, the food that you eat, the gas that is formed is going to be highly irritant to your intestine and it can cause uh, many other health problems in the gut initially. Like individuals will have a constipation, they'll have fissures, hemorrhoids and they'll have what are called as uh, the diverticuli of the large intestine. These are our preconditions and, uh, and if you eat a lot of hard foods, it can cause polyps in the intestine. It could be even genetic and familial because same family can eat similar foods and it can become familial. So multiple polyps may be formed. Normally, the colorectal cancer is adenoma and carcinoma sequence. Initially, there is a polyp and then it becomes adenoma and then it becomes carcinoma. So the, as good the intestinal motility is present with a good fiber food that you take, there will be prevention of any of the colorectal disease and colorectal cancer. You must know that. So what is this antioxidant diet? Let us say you eat a lot of basin, maida, that means this causes and a lot of sweets. This causes a lot of gas. You know when festival when you eat a lot of this gassy food, you feel bloated and you won't be able to pass motion constipation next day. Sometimes some people will have some kind of irritable bowel syndrome also with some certain foods. So avoid all the foods that can form gas. So too much of eating dal is also not very good. Once in a day is okay, but nowadays what happens? You eat idli with sambar and then lunch again rice with sambar, dinner also rice with sambar. So you should avoid too much of dals. Make sure your diet is full of vegetables and fruits. I always say that. Make sure there's one portion of vegetable. A probiotic like a curd is extremely important. So a lot of meat eaters, colon cancer is very common for meat eaters, red meat eaters. So because again, you know, the intestinal motility is disturbed and constipation is increased and all these uh, high protein containing meat, what it does is it causes high irritation to the gut system and can lead to carcinogenesis process. You should know that colonocytes are in a continuous process of uh, death and the new cells formation. So if you give good time for the cells to rejuvenate, then the cancer can be prevented. Secondly, we know that recently one of the Japanese scientists discovered that fasting can help you a lot, intermittent fasting, but you have to do in a particular rhythm. You can't do, you know, I do fasting today and I'll do fasting next after one month and then next week I'll do again. Not like that. You have to do a fasting in a particular pattern. If you do, it gives some rest to your gut. The exposure of irritants in your gut also is reduced. It's known to definitely prevent cancers in our body. Because what this does is a mutated cells of the body will be used as a food and nutrients in our own body and it kills abnormal cells.